and well, hello. How, how, can, how can it improve your sex life if you're not in the same bed? Well, because it's more fun. So well, In the kitchen? Well, no, I go to his man cave, as he calls Ooh. it, you see, and then we have fun. When and you're then in the I, mood. Yeah, exactly, and then I go up to my bed, a uh, nice, warm, comfortable bed, and uh, get a good night's sleep. Well, I said earlier, you're both smiling, you seem very happy, <laughs> we've been chatting in, in the break. Um, you've been together eight years. Yeah. So when... Did, did David Smunor, when you met him, and did you just go, oh, bless him, cos you love him so much, it's all the rosy glow... Yeah. ..first <laughs> bit of a relationship, and you go, it doesn't matter? It, it, very much so. So it was very much that honeymoon period. Yeah. And when we first got together, actually, we didn't tell anyone. So we had a year of kind of a secret relationship where Dave would come over and the children had gone to bed and stuff. So we had all that exciting. So he wasn't staying. So then. he didn't actually stay. Yeah. So um, and then uh, moved in about a year after we uh, had our secret relationship. <laughs> and uh, and that's when, obviously, I discovered how badly he really snored. Yeah. Hi, badly. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, Dave had a, a story that he told me last night that he uh, had a friend that uh, was one, that came and called for him and knew which house to go to because he could hear him. Oh, oh that's hi. That's bad. So you snored when you were quite young as well? Um, people never said I snored, but I'm, I'm guessing I do. I've always been a large man yeah. and... It's just one of those things, yeah. you know. So there was I've no problem until Kelly came along, <laughs> <laughs> basically. How would you describe the snoring? Could you describe oh, it? Oh, it's just like a giant pig noise. <laughs> I yeah. don't know, but it's just... That's how I would describe it too. <laughs> <laughs> I live, yes. A giant pig, pig noise. noise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yes. So how how was it really getting you down? We're laughing, everybody <laughs>, laughs about snoring, but actually it's a serious problem. If Definitely. you've got to get up for work, you know, you've got to sleep. A sleep, if you don't sleep, affects so many things, your health even. So when did it start getting really bad and how was it affecting your relationship? So we got married and uh, you meant to have that honeymoon period, aren't you? And it was probably the worst year of our life, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, so because neither of us were getting any sleep, I was working long hours, Dave's a taxi driver, he works long hours, so neither of us were getting hardly any sleep, three or four hours. To the so point where know. it was causing rise, uh, oh. serious rise, like were you thinking of, of splitting or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'd yeah. The, yeah. The, the slightest thing would just mm. become, you know, the iceberg of the Titanic. It, it, was, it was terrifying. And it was all because we were tired. Yeah. But, David, also, was it not proposed or did you not think of, you know, trying an operation or something like that? Um, no, we, we, we tried the gadgets, you know, yeah. all the things you see on the internet and, yeah. you know, the sprays and the, the, the thing you put on your nose and this and that. And, to be honest, mm. none of it seemed to work. Mm. But it got well, so bad that you went to marriage counselling, didn't you? And it was yes. actually after the counselling that you sat down and you really talked yeah. and then... You had the suggestion, so how did you put it to Dave? Well, I said to Dave that... Because uh, one of us get, was getting out of the bed anyway um, because of being woken up, and um, poor Dave, I'd wake him up because he'd woken me up. So, you know, he... And you were cross. Oh, uh, yeah, very. <laughs> you know, you've woken me up again, and he's like, why have you woken me up to tell me that I've woken you up? So it was, yeah. it was that bad, so it would, one of us would go on to the sofa. So I just said, well... You know, we're not actually sleeping together anyway. Um, so, you know, there's, you know, there's, we weren't having sex, weren't having any sleep. So, you know, it was, what's the point? Mm. So, how about we just, you know, sleep in separate rooms? And, uh, and what, did, how did you did feel? Did you take initially? that as an yeah. insult, David? Um, I partly thought of it as, as an insult, but because we'd already spoken and we'd already identified what our problem was. It wasn't such an insult then. You know, if, if we hadn't discussed it and she just came up to me one day and said that, mm -hmm. you know, as, as with, I think, with most men, you would take that as a right mm. smack in the teeth. Until um, you realise that this hopping from room to room... <laughs> how does it have Can its be advantages? <laughs> yeah? Yes. Definitely. So you've literally moved into another room. Yeah. Unfortunately, you had the room in your house to we do that. Enough to do so that. how has it been? Why has it improved your relationship? Um, it's more exciting. We've gone back to how it was in, in the beginning, when you have that initial excitement and when you, we didn't live together, when, you, you know, he'd come over and whatever, so I'd nip into his it's bedroom. It's like dating again. It yeah. is, yeah, yeah, yeah um, very much Ruth so. and I recently did a, a documentary uh, on sleep and the experts there said that uh, human beings are not designed to sleep together. 
Well, if you, th if you think about it, when you go to bed, you have your cuddle and all of that. And then... All of that. All of that, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but then you move apart and you literally turn your back on each other. So there's no difference for us. We still cuddle, we still, you know, actually our sex life has got much, much better um, and uh, much more adventurous, I would say. Oh, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, uh, um, and then he gets his sleep, I get my sleep. And everyone's happy. And so everyone's happy. Everyone well, is happy. Kelly, Kelly and David are happy. Doesn't... Would it work for you? Would you be happy? And maybe it's something you want to speak to the Speakmans about because they're going to be taking your calls very, very shortly. But uh, Kelly and David, continue to be happy. Yeah. Continue to be happy. Thank you. Thank you very Good much solution. indeed. I Thank thought it was you. just great. <laughs> Pig like noise. <laughs> Pig like. Yeah. You're going to throw me out tonight. Well, the, Ruth's answer. Fun Friday, Ruth, don't Ruth's answer to what you did. <laughs> was to get the biggest bed that you could ever imagine, right? So, basically, <laughs> really she sleeps bed. where David is and I'm here. <laughs> and for me, if I even wanted to get over there, I'd have to have a rope <laughs> to pull myself... Takes him the weekend. <laughs> so, it's really not worth the effort. <laughs> or, you know, so that, that's her separate answer. Separate rooms. Separate rooms. Separate Do you room. want separate rooms? I don't have to. It's like as if you're in a different room, the bed's yeah, so big. Yeah, we're all right, then. We're all right, then. Okay. Thank you so much.